This is a short video that will explain how to unpack and maintain your U12015 and U12015-02 high temperature hobo data loggers. Here we have a U12015 from the factory. This is the way it comes packaged. So we're going to open this up. Here is the data logger. Comes fully assembled with the cap on and the um, O-ring pre-lubricated. You also get a, a user's manual. I su suggest reading through this just for some tips on how to use the product and how to maintain it. It has the specifications in it as well. The other thing that's included in the packaging are spare O-rings. So I don't know if you can see the difference in color here, there are brown ones and there are black ones. And there's a little instruction sheet that talks about the difference between these two types of O-rings. So basically, the black O-rings are made out of a, a compound called EPDM. And that's what comes installed on the logger. That type of material is, is designed for use with hot water, with steam, or for food grade type applications. And it meets the uh, Food and Drug Administration, um, the U.S. organization that oversees food handling. Uh, and it, the part it complies with is the 21 CFR Code of Federal Regulation, Part 175.26. The brown O-rings that you see in here, you would use for if you were in a petroleum type environment, if you were monitoring something where petroleum might be um, present. You don't want to use the EPDM O-ring where uh, petroleum-based oils would be in contact with it. It will cause it to, to fail. So you want to make sure that you're using the right type of O-ring. You get three of each and you also get some lubricant. And this is, um, we send this 111 compound, it's a silicone based lubricant. And I wanna show you how to maintain your logger O-rings. We're gonna show you where the O-ring is located. So here we're gonna unscrew it. Here is our, you can see here's our USB port. You wanna make sure every time you open this device that it's clean and dry. You don't want drops of water getting down into that USB port. That is not sealed in any way. So that's a, an open port right to the electronics. So if you get any water down in there, the water can propagate its way down into the electronics and eventually cause the device to fail. So you wanna make sure this is dry when you're opening it. Every time you open the logger, you wanna inspect the O-ring. You wanna make sure there's no pinches no, no cracks, nothing of that sort that would compromise that O-ring. To remove the O-ring, I'm using a device, it's, a, it's plastic. You can use metal, but you have to be extremely careful not to damage that O-ring when you take that off of there. So you wanna just expand a little bit, use your finger, it'll come right off. So there's our O-ring. And you want to, every time you open this up, you want to inspect that O-ring and you want to keep it lubricated. The proper way to lubricate an O-ring is you take a dollop of the grease lubricant on your finger and roll it over the O-ring. Make sure that all the surfaces get covered, not just the outside, but the inside as well. And that is because when you put it on, it might roll, or when you tighten it down, it may roll. So you wanna make sure you have it on all surfaces, inner and outer of the O-ring. Get it back on there. When in doubt, always re-lubricate your O-rings. The more often you open this, if you open this multi, multiple times a day, it's really important that you keep this lubricated. The lubricant will come off each time you open it. Uh, it could come off onto your fingers. And if you see any deformation in that O-ring, any cracking or anything that is of question, replace the O-ring. And you should replace them regularly. And we resell those O-rings as well if you need more. Also remember, when you reassemble the data logger, 
you want to make sure that this is bottomed out. So you want to make sure that the cap is bottomed out to the body so that it's completely sealed. You don't want to leave it like that. You want to make sure that it's tight right there. So it's nice and snug. And now we're ready to deploy our logger.